Hey there. I know, right? This baby is just so adorable. But I was actually wondering, how is it that humans actually give birth to a full baby? Whereas in like say hens, the egg is laid and then the cute chickling pops out. I wonder why there's so much diversity. Actually, I think we may understand this better by watching this video. Sexual reproduction is characterized by the formation and fusion of male and female gametes. These gametes are produced in male and female sex organs. Some animals, such as the earthworm, possess both male and female sex organs in the same individual. Such animals are called hermaphrodites or bisexual organisms. In a majority of higher animals, such as human beings, there is a distinction between male and female organisms. Such organisms are called unisexual organisms. The male gonads or testes produce male gametes or sperms and the female gonads or ovaries produce the female gametes or eggs. Sexual reproduction takes place with the union of these two gametes. The process of fusion of the two gametes is called fertilization. In human beings, fertilization occurs within the body of the organism and is called internal fertilization. In fish and amphibians, fertilization occurs outside the body of the organism. This type of fertilization is called external fertilization. Based on whether the development of an individual occurs outside the body of a female parent or inside it, the animals are categorized into oviparous and viviparous animals. In oviparous animals, such as amphibians, the fertilized eggs hatch into tadpoles, young ones. These tadpoles change and eventually develop into a mature individual. In viviparous animals, such as human beings, the development of a young one occurs inside the body of a female organism. After attaining a certain stage of growth, the young ones are delivered out of the female's body. Some animals, such as sharks, are characterized as ovoviviparous, as in these fertilized eggs are retained inside the body and development of young ones occurs inside the body of the female organism by obtaining nourishment from egg yolk. Let's summarize. Sexual reproduction is characterized by the formation and fusion of male and female gametes. Hermaphrodites possess both male and female sex organs in the same individual. The process of fusion of the two gametes is called fertilization. In oviparous animals like amphibians, the fertilized eggs hatch into young ones. In viviparous animals, the development of young one occurs inside the body of the female organism. That was quite something. I mean, who knew that sharks are ovoviviparous? Oh, talking about interesting facts. Do you remember Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, who was the first to observe living cells such as bacteria, red blood cells and protozoa? He was also the first to discover the existence of sperms too. You know what? Even I didn't know that. Keep watching to find out more. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.